Hello again. If I sound especially quiet, it's because my voice is short. You see, it's funny because we're playing a game about shooting things. That will also explain why I didn't upload on the usual time last week. But I don't suppose you would know that. So there has been a payday update with a few interesting new items. I have unlocked them all, unfortunately, so you couldn't see the part where I had to rob the shop in order to do that. But really, it isn't difficult. In fact, if you don't know how to unlock those items. What you can do, beside from finding items slash weapons that allows you to steal from shops, is simply to fire your weapons in the shop a couple of times, so as to anger the shopkeeper. When the shopkeeper closes the shop, you will be able to acquire those ridiculously overpriced items. And just to confirm, after you unlock those items once, they will appear at reasonable prices. As it turns out, the new items are not rated to be high tier. They are distributed on D, C, and B tier, which I think is rather reasonable. Hopefully we will be able to see some of those items in action this time around. Probably not a very smart idea to open that chest right away because I might want to save my key for a more important chest. This might be good. It is indeed. This weapon right here, the that, also known as Casey, is probably my favorite weapon in the whole game. And I think that is by design, because for a D-tier weapon, it is incredibly overpowered. And incredibly fun to use more than anything else. I hope I didn't slur my words too much for you to understand what I was trying to say. Also, in case you didn't know, with the Marine character, the Casey is actually more powerful than normal, not only because the character's starting item reduces the reload time on this weapon, it also makes it so that the weapon's charging process complete more quickly than usual, even though it's only by something like 10%. It's still theoretically a net benefit. However, I do have a problem with this weapon, namely that I am terrible at using it against bosses. So if I'm clever, I'm going to purchase a key and open that B tier chest to see if there is a worldly weapon there. But 
I want to save my money for Blood Brook or was it Blood Brooch from the Cursed Shop? That was my own slow reflex. Like I said, I am not great at using this weapon against bosses. Probably will do better if I switched to my basic pistol. But that would compromise my pride, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm probably going to die if I don't make the switch now. That would be the most disappointing thing yet. Looks like I'm not going to make it. So we might as well use the bat while we still can. survived that by the razor's edge. That feels good. Even though I could have done much better, but I think that's more entertaining. Let's purchase this key and open this chest. Hopefully it's a good weapon against the bosses. I guess that's acceptable, and we don't have nearly enough money for anything else, so we will be moving on. See you in a couple of seconds. I like that dramatic beginning to a run. Even if it's not going to be a good run, it's at least going to be an interesting one. What was the arguably most powerful room clearer in the whole game? Trademark. In case you haven't noticed, a lot of the video game terminology I use are borrowed from other people on the internet. Probably to no one's surprise, I guess. This room might be very good for us. In case you don't know, you need at least 100 units of currency or one level of curse to enter here. Nothing here is really that appealing. And I think I will be coming back to this place once I have enough money to... Okay, wait a second. Okay, I think this will work. What I'm doing is not morally commendable, but always varying love and war. Whether or not this is love or war is up to you to decide. Okay, I guess I deserved to have a reward like that. So this weapon, I think, is possibly the most overrated weapon in the whole game because it doesn't 
deal very much damage, yet it's also an A tier weapon. On the positive side, if I find other high level weapons that I don't want to use, I can combine it with that, that A tier weapon in order to construct a higher tier weapon from the gun launcher. I don't know why my voice is troubling, but maybe it's a good thing. It shows that I am emotionally engaged with this run. So maybe it's justifiable after all that it's a matter of love or war for that matter. That justifies my uncouth method of playing that minigame. No, I would really have nothing to blame if I lose this run. Somehow the fireball still unleashed a wave of bullets before it is dead. He took some damage, that's not ideal, but... I suppose that's what playing this game entails. To be hit by the jammed shots would be even worse. Sorry if I'm growing a little inarticulate. It's been a while since I have done any recording. I don't really understand why I opened that chest. Okay. Let me try and combine this weapon. And this one. And hope for something better than both. That may or may not be the case. I suppose either way I will have to try and use that for the boss. Seeing how terrible I am at fighting any boss with the bat. Even though I am really tempted to use this one, to use the bat for this boss. Somehow the boss is also jammed, and I cannot time my use of these of this charged weapon, as you can see. that I'm really going quiet. Maybe it's a good thing. Can't say I am impressed with the damage dealt by this weapon, but I suppose the boss is in fact jammed, so maybe I should cut it some slack. Using a blank there might have just squandered my best chance at survival. I have to say though that I really enjoy how the 
ricocheting projectile of this weapon destroys those missiles. I have also heard people say that this weapon is best used. Okay, no more talking. Oh my lord. Wow. What a terrible start. <laughs> I suppose that's the price to be paid for having a exceptionally strong start. And I guess that's the alternative payment to the cursed merchant. Sorry for such a disappointing beginning. Let me see if anything on this run can match what happened on the last one. Cursed shop again. Unfortunately this time around it really doesn't have anything that good, so... And we are fighting the same bosses again. I find bosses that are more independently functional. That's not the right word. I find bosses who behave as though a intelligent being to be more difficult than bosses who act kind of like a turret and simply fire in non-discreet ways. So for instance, compared to a boss like the Bullet King, I find these bosses to be much more difficult because for some reason I can't seem to anticipate the actions of a boss like this as well as I can just reading the patterns of a boss with set patterns that do not behave in response to what I'm doing. So with a boss like this, it will actively track me down and seems to aim at me and use the attack in the appropriate time. But for a boss like the Bullet King, that is not the case. This is, in fact, the third run of this recording session. If it also doesn't turn out well, I might just have to start from scratch, because I don't want to leave another bunch of terrible videos. Sorry, I meant to say, I don't want to let this video to have another amalgamation of bad runs chained one after another, although that first one was pretty good. We had a speed upgrade from our first passive chest. Could be worse. Could also be better with my own gameplay there. I'm having the illusion that being able to move more quickly is somehow increasing my damage. It relates to the other feelings that I have playing this game sometimes that... Sorry, I had to cut out approximately 1 million uh, sequences in which I tried to attempt a sentence. But ended up not being able to. Basically, I was trying to describe a sensation that I sometimes have playing this game that I know that I need to slow down in order to play better, but 
somehow the game seems to have been sped up, and I can't deliberately slow down my own playing speed. No, curse the shop this time around. I'm guessing there is a secret room there. Now that I look at it, I can certainly see the early levels of combat being boring to look at. So, in the future I might just skip to the item room sequences. So this weapon isn't really that good, but I do enjoy the fact that the chest that contained it also came with um, enough money for me to afford this weapon. Also, even though I didn't hit the shot on this patch of wall, I'm pretty sure there is a secret room here. Okay, it's the Bullet King. Allow me to demonstrate you my... Never mind. <laughs> Basically, I found another exploit for this boss. But apparently Karma is really not working with me today. But I'm determined to show you what I discovered. So, if I'm just standing in this corner, this boss actually cannot hit me. Even though I just got hit three times trying to show you this. That is unrelated to the quality of this exploit. I now feel like this run has every excuse to be terrible to me, so... I guess I shouldn't be complaining the next time a gem, the level 2 boss, show up, or when my keyboard freezes, since I clearly deserve it all. I'm having the delusion that all of this is really just some sort of twisted documentary film where an alien civilization is impelling me to record Enter the Gungeon videos where I show people the folly of trying to cheat your way out of due diligence. That theory would explain why I only seem to be punished for my bad deeds on recorded videos. But then again, if a alien civilization is going to simulate the whole planet Earth just for this purpose, why didn't they have their own video recording program? and instead make me spend 200 bucks on a decently good but still seemingly overpriced recording program. By the way, the word recording program is officially my new favorite word, and I can feel the delusional... I don't want to say the delusional energy rising again because the word energy has been tainted with too many pseudoscientific connotations. But yeah, I am feeling the conspiracy theory juices flowing, so I don't know, expect a significant upgrade in the commentary that mimic there is another 
evidence supporting the theory that all of this is really uh, happening inside a simulation. In case you've never heard of it, there is this paradox known as the Fermi paradox where people try to explain why despite the universe vastness we don't see any aliens even though probabilistically speaking there should be many alien civilizations out there in the galaxy and some of them should have contacted us by now or have sent out target non-specific radio waves saying Hello, we are an alien civilization. Are you out there and listening to us? And something to that effect. But we haven't received anything of the sort. One of the possible solutions to the Fermi paradox is that we are all just living, or we are all just living in a computer simulation built by more intelligent civilization outside of the simulation and for whatever reason they decided that it's not a useful thing to include multiple alien civilizations so we are the only one here if that were so our lives have been a lie and the universe is probably a lot smaller than what it appears to be, because in that case there really isn't any reason for the alien civilization to spend the computational resources necessary to simulate uh, a vast universe that we are likely never going to access, and to make it confusingly devoid of other intelligent beings. Repeating of course, trademark. I'm going to wildly spam my AK-47 in Celebration of Violence, which is the title of a different game that I'm likely not going to play. That was a pretty bad shot, only hit one target, but at least it's a pretty important target, but I guess it doesn't matter because I took damage anyways. Again and again, as you can see. And now there's no point wasting my charged laser on these enemies with simple behavior. These large mushrooms tend to overwhelm my ability to process the number of objects on the screen. But I guess you're not here for psychological research, so I don't need to be telling you that kind of information. But what else can I say? I'm reminded of how I always uh, do things like assignments and things like that. The more I rush, the more the better my quality is. The more I rush, the better the quality of my work seems to be, but apparently that just got proven false by my repeated failure at attempting the same sentence. This weapon, in case you don't know, when it exhausts all of its ammunition, will spawn a chest for me, so I'm kind of conflicted as to what role this weapon should fulfill. Should I reload this weapon in order to make use of its decently powerful shots, or should I quickly exhaust its supply of ammunition in order to receive whatever reward it might have in store for me? The answer in relation to my gambler personality is of course to 
exhausts its projectiles as quickly as possible, so as to obtain the as of yet unknown reward from the weapon when it exhausts its ammunition. I hope you are under the influence of some sort of drug, so the quality of this video can be even better, even though I do not encourage the use of narcotics. Wow, it's an A tier. And a pretty good weapon. I opened that chest right away because I do not want to take the risk of it being destroyed in the gunfire. I am also developing the superstition that the uh, directional pad gives you better weapon if you use it to kill more enemies before it runs out of ammunition. Now you might be confused, if I know that it's a superstition that I'm developing, why do I still believe in such a superstition? As a matter of fact, the capacity for superstition is actually a rather basic biological process. So if you ever heard of the case with the Skinner box, where animals are put in a small container in which they might perform actions so as to trigger the deployment of certain reward in the form of food. In that case, animals such as rats and pigeons developed superstitious behaviors where they might repeatedly perform the same action, either that be repeatedly grooming themselves or spinning in circles or looking left and right. Basically, the rats and pigeons thought that if they did these rep repetitive actions, then it will cause food items to be deployed in the skin box. Even though, as a matter of fact, whatever the animals were doing had absolutely no effect on whether or not any food was deployed. In other words, the capacity for correlation between cause and effect between things that do not in fact have causal relation is something not unique to human beings and at a rather fundamental level of the intelligent mind. I guess if you, you can say that rats and pigeons are intelligent to a small degree. Okay, I took too much damage and became too much of a psychologist during that fight. That's fun though, I like this kind of commentary. Even if that sounds even if it sounds like I am having a seizure. By the way, I am self aware of the sort of insanity that my commentary often devolves into. Before I find any additional nightmare fuel, I am going to be a little more quiet for a bit because like I said before, my voice has been shot more so than my avatar in this game, so may need a little quiet moment to recover from what I just did. I also am beginning to think that I have overestimated the usefulness of this weapon. Not sure if I mentioned this before, but a chief problem I noticed with my own gameplay is that I often fail to properly 
make use of the ammunition of lesser weapon. So, for something like the AK-47, whose ammunition is not really that valuable, because especially in this situation, because I have a better boss killer in the form of Dragonfire, which is a very lucky thing to possess, by the way. Not that it's inherently lucky, just that having it is a testimony of my luck. You neither understood nor cared what I said. Anyways, basically what I'm trying to say is that with weapons like this, I should be spamming more. The only reason why I said all well, that gigantic train of words is only to demonstrate to you my capacity for verbosity. as well as gratuitously elevated vocabulary. The charged laser, this one, recharges quickly enough to the point where I think it's sensible to fire it on single enemies like that ghost in the last room. I can't remember how much HP those annoying enemies, the one that I just killed had, but suffice to say that it shows the charged laser to be a rather powerful weapon. A good rating system for whether or not a weapon is good is often to see whether or not said weapon can kill one of those lead maiden enemies in a single opening. Opening here being a literal reference to the fact that the lead maiden opens its chest cavity in order to attack you, during which process it also renders itself vulnerable to counterattack. So if a weapon can, during the duration of a lead maiden's attacking sequence destroy that enemy, then it suffice to say that the weapon in question is a reasonably powerful one. If not, then it is probably not a very damaging weapon. For example, I wouldn't be able to kill that enemy with my basic pistol during one opening. Whereas with the AK-47, or the charged laser for that matter, it would be possible to do so. So the cigarette is actually very good if I were better at this game, because it allows me to convert hearts into luck stat, essentially. I have been having trouble with this particular enemy lately, so I will probably not have a flawless, but I will certainly try. I was very much rattled in the end there. Fortunately enough, 
we did make it through without too much trouble. I am also going to... I'm also going to use the cigarette item twice, even though I do not advocate smoking. I'm going to advance to the next floor with this item. This is terrible. Do forgive my silence, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going to lose my voice anytime soon. This is actually a living nightmare. Sorry, I meant to say this is actually a waking nightmare. Pretty much resigned to taking damage there. There is another wave. The room is still not over, and I'm already approximately dead. I hope the reward is worthwhile, but what made me think so? Shows you not to gamble, I guess. Once again confirming the theory that this might all be a simulation made for propaganda purposes to showcase the vice of gambling and being an exploitative person. I'm not sure if I finished the point started by the Skinner box argument. The point is that, even though I know some of my beliefs regarding to this game are irrational and baseless, I still tend to take credit in those beliefs because it's hard to resist the instinct to see causation where pure chance or mere correlation might be what is really happening. Probably shouldn't be wasting the laser on a single bird. I have also seem to committed to the habit of purchasing HP from the shop because clearly I need that in order to survive. I suppose you are not here to hear me explain basic mechanics of this game though.
I took some damage, but for the situation in which that occurred, I would say that is forgivable, even though I shouldn't be letting myself fall into that position in the first place. good. This item would be a lot more useful back when I was receiving more HP drop than once or twice before. Oh no, this boss. Possibly the most difficult boss in the whole third floor. And I completely squandered my charge of the laser. Thankfully, the boss revealed itself quickly enough. I cannot speak French as you can tell, but I can speak anglicized French. That was such a terrible waste. I guess that's my punishment for butchering French. Oh no. Well, it's been nice knowing you all. I feel... The call of death. As I continue to unadvisably switch weapons, even though I shouldn't be. Please, be so close. Oh no, this is definitely going to kill me. I thought for sure one of those little bell enemies is going to explode and kill me in the process. Glad that it wasn't the case though. There are no more HP remaining. We survived yet another floor. Impressive. I suppose what is impressive for me is not necessarily impressive for other people. Also, language cannot sufficiently express my hatred of the enemies on this particular floor. That is the quickest laser swivel I have ever seen from this enemy. It's as if they just had a recent patch that made their neck more agile than normal. I know with my terrible pronunciation of the syllables, you can probably not tell what I was trying to say, but suffice to say, I found the rate at which that skeleton enemy turned its neck to be way too fast. That was terrible. This is worse. 
those blanks could save me from a death to the boss. But I guess before I get to the boss, I do need to worry about surviving. That being the premise of getting to the boss in the first place. Another complete miss. And a extremely risky action in trying to avoid the attack. That was good. Finally landed a shot from the charging laser. That is also not its proper name. Its proper name is called Dueling Laser. As you can tell from the completely messed up inflection in my voice, that I am extremely on edge. I also do not know how to use the word inflection properly. I think it's more of a grammatical thing rather than a pronunciation thing. Or should I say, a phonological thing. I am in fact studying linguistics, but you do not need to know that. Also, even though I'm studying linguistics, that does not mean I know everything about linguistics already. So, on no terms should I be taken for a linguistic authority. We are back to using our basic pistol again. A heart, and we in fact received the bonus for having uh, that item, which it shall remain nameless because I cannot think of its name right now. It's this one. I will take this because I haven't really been able to use it properly before. I will also, against my best judgement, take this item. Even though it's fairly late in the game and I do not have enough keys. This word, this room is not. Never mind. I was going to say that this room was not worth the use of uh, my spacebar item, but judging from the composition of the enemy, I decided otherwise. Let me see if there's any ammunition for sale. I guess I had just given up on trying to save enough money for another merchant. This is terrible. I wonder how many times I said that during this run. And I should have saved my dueling laser for this. Still managed to take severe damage from that, and I will in fact open these, if for no other reason than to take these blanks, because I honestly do think that two blanks is more important than a single key, but I was also hoping for something more, sp more substantial from that chest.
another awful room to be in. Switching to my basic pistol in order to save some ammunition. There is another game that I used to play more so than this one called Talent Glitch. It's not a very popular game even though it's reasonably well made. And in that game there was this quote which displays after you lose the game. And it says, Maturity is realizing at some point that health is more important than ammunition. I find it to be very much a relevant and interesting thing to say in a game like that. And I think the same principle applies here. At some point I should realize that my spacebar item is worth less than a whole heart. And maybe at some point I will eventually realize that moral integrity is more important than success at a video game. That day is not today though. Even though I can't think of any clever exploit for this boss and took damage anyways. I guess this will be my death. This is the third time I said so, I think, during this particular run. But maybe this time it will come true. Yeah, I'm dead. I should be dead. I should be dead. I should be dead. I am in fact dead. Alright. Major disappointment, but maybe I will see you in a moment or so. Uh, maybe in the next video. Goodbye.